Dear students, we have completed first chapter. Now we are proceeding towards second chapter. Name of the second chapter is Acids, Bases and Salts. Firstly, I will give you the introduction of these terms. What are acids, what are bases and what are salts. So these are actually the chemical substances. Any acid you are taking, any base you are taking, any salt, salt which you are taking daily, that is table salt, NaCl, that is also a chemical substance. So all these are firstly chemical substances. And chemical substances are obtained from two sources, either from plants or animals, that means from living, and from non-living, that is from rocks and metals. One more thing I am telling you, if the chemical substance we are obtaining from living substance, living organism like plants or animals, that substances are organic compounds. While if we are getting the compounds from rocks or minerals, they are inorganic compounds. So is it clear students that what are organic and what are inorganic? Organic meaning derived from plants or animals. And inorganic meaning derived from rocks or minerals. Okay. Now I am coming to acid and bases first. In the olden times, people believed that acid and bases can be identified by their taste. And that's why... In olden times we are talking about, that's why we are calling that concept as traditional concept. So what was the traditional concept of acid and base? People used to say that whichever substance is sour in taste is acid. And whichever substance is bitter in taste, kadwa hota hai that is base. Khatta hai to acid, kadwa hai to base. Like if I will ask you what will be the nature of lemon, tamarind, tomato, these all are sour in taste. That's why they all are acid. While baking soda, washing soda, these all possess bitter taste and thus they are bases. But as you also know that we cannot identify the substance by tasting. We cannot taste every acid or base because some acids are very harmful. So we cannot able to taste every chemical substance. So how to know, how to identify which is acid and which is base? So instead of taste, we test them. T-A-S-T-E T-E-S-T karte hain. uski testing karte hain. We test by qualitative analysis that whether it is acid or it is base. By the help of different substance, we identify acid and bases. The substance which we are using to identify acid or base are called indicators. So how can we define indicators? What are indicators? Indicators are the substance which by changing their color or by changing their smell, we call it odor also. Smell or odor is same. So substance which by changing its color or smell indicate the presence of acid or base is called indicator. Now here, I am taking those indicators which changes their color in different mediums. Different mediums meaning with acid they give different color while with base they give different. So I am taking here different indicators litmus, phenolphthalein, and methyl orange. From these this litmus is a natural indicator. It is obtained from the extract of plants and which plant? Lichen. 
which belongs to the family Thallophyta. So this litmus is an extract of lichen plant and its color is purple. That means we can say in neutral medium, litmus is having which color? Purple color. While if it is added in acid, it gives red color. Or if it is added in base, it gives blue color. So, in nutshell, we can say, if purple color is changing into red, that means substance is acid. And if the substance is changing purple color to blue, then the substance is basic. That's why we say that if blue litmus is changing to red, that means substance is acidic. And if red litmus is changing to blue, the substance is basic. Okay. One more natural indicator I am telling you here is what's red cabbage. I think you have seen green cabbage. Some of you have also seen red cabbage. Red cabbage acts like natural indicator. It also changes its color in different medium. That is acid and basic. Red cabbage, if we take out the extract of it, it will be naturally red. So in neutral medium, color of red cabbage is red. In acidic medium, it is again red. It do not changes its color with acid. But with base, its color becomes green. So red cabbage becomes green when it comes contact in base. So we can able to identify that whether the substance is acid or base. One more thing, one more natural indicator, turmeric powder, haldi. That, that can also help in identifying Acid and base. How? In neutral medium, it is yellow. Turmeric meaning haldi is fruits. Jo hum ghar use karte hain. Haldi ko hi hum turmeric bolte hain. Naturally, in neutral medium, it is yellow. In acidic, it remain yellow. With acid, it remain yellow. But in basic, it changes its color to red or dark orange. Like, if you are sprinkling turmeric powder on a cloth and when you wash it, it becomes yellow. But as you apply soap over it, soap is basic, that cloth becomes red or orange. So, we can prove that if the turmeric powder is changing to reddish orange, that means that particular substance is base. Is it okay, sirs? Natural indicators. Three we have taken. Now, I am coming to artificial or the man-made indicators, which also change their color in different mediums with acid and bases. So, phenolphthalein, which is a synthetic indicator, is colorless in the neutral medium. Colorless. Its original color is colorless, like water, transparent. In acid, it remain colorless only, no change in color, but with base, it changes to pink from colorless. Colorless to pink is base. Colorless to colorless only. That means it the substance is acid. Same is the case in methyl orange. It is also a synthetic indicator which also changes its color in different mediums like acid and base. Its original color is orange. So if I ask you that what is the color of methyl orange in neutral medium, your answer should be it is orange. With acid, it shows it will give red color and with base, it gives yellow. So, orange color is changing to yellow in some substance. Then that substance is regarded as base. Is it clear, students? Now, I am taking olfactory indicators. The next type of indicators after color changing, I am taking Olfactory indicators. What is the meaning of this olfactory? Substance which indicates the presence of acid and base by changing its smell or odor. That substances are called olfactory indicators. That means indicators which change their odor with acid and base. Then that 
indicators are called olfactory indicators. Here I am giving you some example students like onion, piaj, vanilla essence which we add in cakes and third is clove oil, long gate. All these possess peculiar smell in them. Suppose in case of onion, if we are taking out its extract and if I am taking that extract in a cloth or we can say I am dipping a cloth in the liquid extracted from the onion, that cloth acquires the smell of onion into it. If we wash it with plain water, nothing will happen. Its sm smell remain in the cloth only. If we are washing that cloth having onion smell with acid, again the smell will be retained. That smell will not go. But if we treat that cloth by base, that is soap, then its smell get vanished. So, onion do not change its smell with acids, but its smell get disappear with base. So, in this way, we can identify the presence of acid or base by using this onion olfactory indicator. Same as the case in vanilla essence and clove oil also, students. These all three they retain their smell in acidic medium, but the smell get vanishes in basic medium. So in this way, by using these three indicators, we can able to identify acid and base. Is it okay, students? Read from the book. In CRT book, you can download from internet. And if you have any difficulty, you can pass me. For today, this much is there. Be safe, students. Thank you.